Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 5th through February 11th. This is intended to be a love reading. What I'd like you to do is just take what resonates and leave the rest because this is not a private reading. I'm going to get a couple of energies, you know, from these two decks, these two oracle decks, and then we will go into your reading for the week. Ooh! Release your ex. Release your ex. It's ta the time has come to clear your energy. You know, I'm just going to go like this. I don't even know what to do. Maybe I should just choose them both. What do you think? I think we should. Purpose and growth. I know what I am here to do. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. You have to remember that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Everything that has happened brought you true growth. There was a reason for it. This is time to release your ex. Because it's time for you to <clears throat> meet up with the one that your ex was getting you ready for. Okay? Now I need to get another thing which I hadn't planned on doing. Or maybe that will hold it. Oh, it will. Look at that. I will zoom this in better in a moment. Let me just start dealing these, and then we will get those fixed right up. Um, Libra, love. Release your ex so love can come in. Realize that this happened for a reason. Okay? It did. It did. It brought you the growth, all right, that you needed. It brought you the, the awareness. It made you ready for the next one. Okay? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I told you. It was getting you ready for the next one. I knew it. Okay? There was a purpose why all of this happened. Okay? There was. It's time for you to realize that you have other opportunities. If you'd stop looking down at the loss, your pot of gold is behind you. Okay? Your pot of gold, it, gold is here. It's there. Okay? It's available. But you need to you need to get out there. You need to have fun. You need to celebrate. You need to be open. Okay, it's time for you to receive your much deserved gift, Libra, because you know you've been through you've been through a lot, you've been through some kind of awakening. All right, this is the judgment card. You've been through an awakening, you've been through a karmic situation with your ex, which you know there was a purpose for it, there absolutely was. So, you don't forget that. All right, it's time for renewal. It's time for you to really, really release the past. This is releasing the past. It's also a time of forgiveness, okay? Forgive yourself, forgive others, all right? I really feel like you have gone through an awakening that has uh, made you realize, okay, that it really is time to release your ex. It's really, this really was growth, and it did happen for a reason. And as soon as you release your ex, Love is going to come in. But if you're detached and cold-hearted, then that is a problem, okay? If you continue to hold on, it ain't going to work out. If you're holding on to waiting for a second chance, is that what you're doing? Because this is wanting a second chance, holding on to it. You know, you may feel like you've been robbed, and that's why you're still concentrating on the loss, feeling detached, feeling cold-hearted. 
you know, over this union that you had with your ex a long time ago. But the fact of the matter is, is that that was a karmic cycle. Okay, something, it's not all, everything, this world, in this world is not all as it seems. Okay, there's many, many illusions. And it was just an illusion. Okay, and, and you know, but you guys were probably like, hell no, it was not an illusion. I was in love. But it was an illusion of love. It wasn't true love. Okay, that's what I'm th telling you. Okay, because true love never dies. Okay, so, and the thing is, it's time for you to stop pretending. It's time for you to stop ignoring. It's time for you to stop procrastinating. It's time for you to release and stop hanging on. Release the past so that you can have the victory that you deserve, okay? It's time for your victory and success, but that victory and success does not come until you take the blindfold off. Right now, you are deceiving yourself, and it's time to stop. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop robbing yourself of a new cycle of gifts, of happiness. Stop robbing yourself of that. I feel like some of you were involved in a situation where there was more than one person. And that might be where, why you feel like you're robbed. Okay? But the fact of the matter is, is when, with the moon card, there's cycles. There's cycles. There's, you know, cycles come and cycles go. All right? Let me get this zoomed in before we keep going. I just think it's really important to see these cards. All right, I guess that's pretty good. Um, I wasn't planning on getting two, so I apologize. <laughs> We're going to get some clarifiers here for Libra. What is this two of cups up here? What is this two of cups? Oh, you need to, it was, it wasn't a keeper. Okay, I'm sorry. It was not a keeper and that's why you need to release it. It was probably based on sex and I think that many of you know that. It was based on sex. It was very lusty. It was passionate, but this isn't the Knight of, the, the, the Knight of Cups. Okay, it's the Knight of uh, Pentacles. This is, um, somebody who was into money and sex. They caused you a lot of depression, a lot of anguish, sleepless nights. Like I said, there was passion. There was passion. And excitement with this person. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is good luck, good fortune. So perhaps now there's, there could be a change in course. Okay, there could be a change in course. Perhaps you're starting to heal from a broken heart. Maybe you've decided that, yes, this is also true growth. This is pain and suffering that brings you true growth. Perhaps you've decided, yes, it's time for me to stop procrastinating because that's, this is very slow moving. You've, you've, you've really taken your time waiting for things to change. Okay, you've been really waiting, 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 procrastinating all the way. Okay, over this X. And I feel like for many of you, there was a third party situation. And now you have come, many of you, not all, have come to this realization that this person is your ex. This is your ex. This person is no longer going to rob you. You've come to this realization. They're not going to rob you. They're, you're going to start to look behind. You're going to stop procrastinating. Because you don't need these conflicts anymore. You don't need to compete with another person. Because I feel like there's two people here for your ex. Okay. And now you've taken the time to really step back and focus and realize 
the truth, your time of reflection and despair and depression and anguish and sleepless nights. I mean, although it isn't good, it brought you growth. Okay? It has made you realize. It's made you see the light. It's made you see the light that you don't need to compete anymore. You don't need these conflicts in your life. Because there's no more passion to be had with this guy or girl okay there isn't it's over it's like there's a lack of growth there's a lack of anything okay it's over there's no when you get this this king of wands reverse it's like you were it's a unre it's a unreasonable expectation okay and you, i think you've come to that conclusion i think you were dealing with somebody who was ruthless and they were into sex and money they weren't, it wasn't love, even though you thought it was love. And now it's time for you to take action. Head the hell out of there. Get out of there. And start loving yourself again, Libra. Start loving yourself again. Be happy with where you're at. Start enjoying yourself. Start making yourself feel good again. Do little things for yourself. Get creative. Uh, be your own advocate, okay? It's time for you to start loving yourself again and to let go of the shame within you. Whoever you were with, like I said, they were they were not a keeper. It was they were not a keeper, even though you thought it was. You thought it was. I think this was a soulmate relationship, somebody that came into your life to teach you about growth and purpose. And now it's time for you to, to strive, strive, thrive, thrive, where that came out, I don't know, thrive in your independence, thrive, and you're not, you should be thriving independently, you should be loving yourself as who you are, you should be able to see your beauty within But right now you're feeling bitter cold-hearted, miserable, lonely, vindictive. I mean, that's what this card says, reversed. And if you feel that way, it's certainly bringing your vibration down. This woman's upright, this nine of pentacles, it says nine of shields, upright, she is vibrating very highly. But reverse, no, no, no. This is very low vibrational energy. Because you absolutely need to take action. Look at this as a period of growth and purpose. No kidding. And start a new journey with faith and trust. It's time for you to take a risk on your future. Just really, really step into the unknown. Replace fear with faith. Get the hell out of there. And don't look back. It's time for you to start a brand new journey, Libra. This week is about releasing your ex. Your ex brought you growth, purpose, and now it's time to clear your energy. So that's what I have for love. Is new love coming in? No. Because you have to, you, you still have to complete this process that's what I have